Good morning you guys. Today I am going to be doing a spend the day with me video. Welcome to my channel Nobody But Naya for all things beauty hustle and entertainment. I will take you guys with me today. A typical day through a student setting abroad. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so after I eat breakfast, I have to go to class. So I'm gonna take the metro to class. Um, I think I'm my bad. I think I'm kind of decent on time, so I'm not in a super rush. But some mornings, like if I'm late, I have to eat my cereal in like two seconds and then run to the metro stop. Not really run, but you know. So after I eat, I'm gonna go to class. I have three classes today. This is one of my longer days, and then we'll see where the day takes us. Sometimes I, I don't know. We'll see where the day takes us. Going to the metro now. Um, I don't know what time it is. I think it's like 12 something. My class starts at 1 something, at 1 o'clock. So, I need to get my metro card. Where is it? If I left my metro card at home, I'm gonna be pissed. Oh, here it this is easy I should have been doing this because at first I was walking to class and literally my school is like 30 minutes from my house and I was like Okay, now that I'm off of the metro, I only have like a like a five-minute walk to my school. I made it to my school and my class starts in like 20 minutes, so I'm just gonna chill in this little week. <laughs> I'm about to chill in this little wait area thing until my class starts because I think there's another class in there right now. But yeah, I'm gonna show y'all what my like study area thing looks like at one of my universities I'm going to. Actually, I have a better idea. So instead of working on uh, whatever I said I was gonna work on, I'm actually gonna work on my vision board. I'm gonna do a digital vision board. This is kind of hard for me to make like a real vision board with like magazine covers and stuff like that. I'm gonna do a digital one on Canva and post it as my wallpaper just so I can kind of recenter my focus and stuff like that. Not feel distracted and kind of have the things, like the tangible things that I want in front of me every time I open my laptop screen. Do y'all like these glasses on me? I got them from my roommate. I don't really wear glasses, but. Okay, so I just finished classes, well, one of my classes, and um, before I go to my next class, I'm about to get a sandwich because I'm mad hungry. So I just asked this other girl, this girl that's in my class for two years because I only have my card. So I'm gonna um, get me a sandwich and then I'm gonna go to my digital culture and graphic design class. So yeah.
Okay, so before my class starts, somebody I'm like, <laughs> um, my teacher sent us like, we're all in this WhatsApp group, and he sent us our assignment, and I didn't do it, so I'm about to try to do it really quick. It was, I think it's like reading our or something, but I didn't do it, so. to get throughout the day because I mean of course we all have days where we just not feeling it. I'm gonna go by the international office and see like if there's any other ways I can get involved like I guess on campus and stuff like that. I'm gonna to my other school and I will take you guys with me trying to stay positive. Okay so I just spoke with the sorry I just spoke with the international office and they were telling me so basically I signed up for this thing called um it's just like an intercambio where you talk to a native Spanish speaker. Can you guys see me? You talk to a native Spanish speaker and kind of like exchange languages or whatever. Like I would be learning Spanish and they would be teaching me. Well, yeah, I would be learning Spanish and in turn I would be teaching them things in English. I also talked about some of the excursions and stuff, but they don't really have like clubs like in the United States where we have like Spanish club or like what other clubs do they have in the U.S.? Like, no, I'm in a sorority, so like things like that, like they don't really have here, but they do have opportunities for you to meet people through like excursions and stuff. So yeah, there was this girl in my class. There was this girl in my class telling me about um, a networking thing that they have every Wednesday at this place. So I think I might try it. Learning Spanish is a little bit harder than I thought, so I think it's a little difficult because the spanish that i'm learning in spanish is much different from the spanish that i've learned at home and like growing up and stuff like that right now it's 4 42. i have to get on the metro to get to go to my next class because it's at my other university so i'm gonna do that now after i catch my breath because i'm so out of shape so when i talked to the lady she was telling me that they have like uh like she was showing me where the library was and like how they had a place to study and like I can check out cameras if I want which is really cool because I didn't know that so I'm probably gonna do that just so that I can like have a place to study and kind of get more so into a routine of Spain and stuff like that and yes I just want to be kind of transparent about my experiences like I am enjoying myself here a hundred percent but also I'm adjusting so maybe if I'm just a little bit more honest and uh, with myself about my adjustments and like I guess kind of like um, just embracing the fact that I'm adjusting like it might make my adjustment a little bit better than trying to fight it and act like I'm gonna learn Spanish overnight but I'm about to get on the metro to go to my other class and yes it's awkward because everyone keeps staring at me, but bro, it's literally a McDonald's like right by this side, and I'm gonna get it. I want some nuggets. Hola, um, ¿Eh? no, español. Ah, español? Yo, yo quiero practicar. Muy bien. <laughs> Tomar o llevar? Um, llevar. Ya, ya está en español. Oh, llevar. Vale. llevar. Ahora quieres nuggets de pollo? Sí. ¿De cuántas unidades los quieres? Uh, nueve. nueve. Sí. ¿Quieres menú con bebida y patata? Uh, no. Vale. Solamente los nuggets, ¿no? Sí. Vale. ¿Salsita? Uh, agrodulce. So, ¿Puedes elegir dos? ¿También agrodulce? Do dos. Muy bien. ¿Alguna cosita más? Uh, para beber. Uh, sí. Mm, una botella de agua, bueno. ¿De 33 centilitros o de 50? Uh, 50. Es todo. ¿Nada más? Sí. Vale, le damos a finalizar el pedido. I got my food. 
He was so helpful because I was so confused for a second. So now I'm about to get on the metro to go to my next class. Hopefully I'm not late. I'm just going to have to walk real fast. Knowing me, that's not going to be a problem because I eat fast. We'll see. I'm so happy. I'm late to class. So now I'm nervous to walk in. Magdalena, Magdalenas, dulce, mientras hay sol. ¿Judíos? Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur. El día del perdón. El día de la expiación de los pecados. Yom Kippur. But not as sweet. Para que te perdone la dulce. Pero no se parece a lo que te parece. Pero no se parece a lo que te parece. Bueno. Hi guys, we just got out of class. Hola. Oh shoot, hey. <laughs> we just got out of class. Um, I'm about to go to this place. If my camera will be still. I'm about to go to this place and uh, just do work or whatever. They're having an event there tonight, the one that the girl from my class is telling me about, so I'm gonna see what it is. So stay tuned. Queremos contar eso porque cada uno puede... Tu madre está enferma por nosotros. Tú no lo dices y nosotros estamos por ella para que se le Ah, gracias. Y porque quieres feliz, porque quieres. Quiero solo que nuestro semestre actúes en la televisión. Ah, ¿qué en la televisión? Sí. Sí. Estamos igual. Vamos. La A, la letra A en inglés no suena como A, suena como E, Shakespeare. Debería sonar Shakespeare. Luego ahí hay un problema. Sí, sí, sí. ¿Ok? En español no, en español siempre la A es A, la E es E, la I es I, la O es O. Puede variar según la composición de la palabra, según la relación con la letra. Entonces, si tú coges un periódico inglés y te pones a leerlo, pones a leer la letra, no puedes saber cuál es la pronunciación de lo que estás viendo. No hay una coordinación. En español sí, la mayor parte de las palabras de español, si tú la lees, puedes saber cómo se pronuncia. Pero en inglés no. En inglés no. Entonces, el español para aprender a hablar es muy fácil si lo haces leyendo. Puedes leer una palabra y saber exactamente qué sonido tiene. Cuando te entrenas un poco, Puedes leerla y, escuch y escucharla, entre comillas, en tu cabeza, ¿vale? Entonces eso te permite luego hablar muy fácil. Me acuerdo. Me acuerdo. I agree. I think so. Ah, de acuerdo. Estoy de acuerdo. Me acuerdo significaría I remember. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Pero es en Colombia es en el centro de la ciudad, pero el estado es en del sur, en Estados Unidos. Carolina del Sur. Sí. sí. Por ejemplo, Estados Unidos es aquí, Carolina del Sur es aquí. Sí, en el centro. No. No. Es en el sur. En el sur, sí, en el sur de cada uno. país. Ah, por aquí está Florida, aquí está California. Sí, sí. Florida, no. California. Sí, y Canadá del Sur es cerca de Florida. Cerca de Florida. Florida es en el sur. Ay, hello. Hola. Muy bad, very bad. No. Uh, <laughs> Muy bien. ¿Cómo se llama? My name is Marian, please. Marian. 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 Okay. Marian. Okay. If you prefer, uh, what is your name? Naya. Naya. Mm -hmm. Your name is very, very beautiful. <laughs> I'm really glad I went to the little white bar thing because with the little intercambio thing because it was very engaging and it gave me an opportunity to practice and literally I barely looked at my phone. I was on the phone a week before and somebody like the Hispanic guy walked up and was like, oh, where's Pasta Cuba? And I was like, uh, I can eat straight. I didn't know how to say straight. It's like, you'll be able to add. Now what we, we had in our class, but a little spinning around activity. Oh, yeah. I remember the original Izquierda, but let's see. I think it's like, I, uh, I'm not sure. But I just point it straight. You I know? think it's also because we're in Sevilla. That's what this girl was telling me. She was like, the, like in Barcelona, other places, they actually said a full phrase when they saw it. Huh? Let's take off my makeup, take a shower, clean my room. Huh. I forgot it was Wednesday. I should have went out tonight. Maybe I'll take somebody in. 
actually i think i might text this girl from my class and see if she's going out because but then again also i need to kind of get my life together because midterms are coming up we're gonna have to see honey priorities hi girl how was school Just like to my family. About to clean my room and also my book came in the mail and I'm going to start it tonight. I think that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to stay tuned for more videos from me on my channel, Nobody But Naya. Follow me on social media at Nobody But Naya. And yes, honey, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.